Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today's video is all about the outdoors and I want to share with you my balcony for 2022. This is a project that I have been trying to get to for some time now so let's get started. I started out removing the items that I had from last year and as you can see the balcony area was pretty sad I just had a couple of chairs there the surface that you see is something that is new prior to this and I hopefully I can find some images to show you guys I had a tile floor there and it was gorgeous with the medallion but it was improperly installed mildew and mold on the bottom side of the balcony so I took it up I removed that tile and now what you see is the correct way you're supposed to seal the balcony and have water protection Currently what I'm doing now after cleaning up is I'm spraying for ants or spiders or any other kind of bug. This spray is amazing. When I say no ants, no spiders, no bugs, I mean zero. I purchased this from Amazon. I will definitely link it below. This is turf that I purchased a couple of years ago. So that's how long I have been trying to execute this balcony and make it an oasis, another oasis for me to just relax and unwind in. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's green. And I thought about instead of looking at the finished waterproofing deck, I want to see something that's gorgeous. I'm going to cut this turf and it's so super easy to cut their perforated lines and you can just follow that and get a straight razor or any other type of utensil that you have and just start cutting. It was super easy. I thought it was going to be difficult, but it was not. Now I'm placing the turf on the balcony itself and I'm just making some smaller cuts around the edge here. And again, it was just super easy to roll out on with the furniture i wanted to purchase a new sofa and i'm like uh i've got too many sofas already outdoors you guys remember this sofa it was downstairs in the outdoor living room i purchased a handheld sprayer because i don't know i've seen it a thousand times so i said i can do the same thing myself this sprayer i'll link below as well it was very very simple to work with you just place the paint inside of the container and then start spraying it literally took me about maybe five minutes per spray and i actually have two coats on this sofa While that's drying, I'm back out to the balcony and I'm placing some pots. Pick these up at your local home goods store and I'm placing some holes in the bottom of the pot so that when it rains, because I plan on leaving these things out year round and there's no cover above this balcony. So when it rains, the water will just go through the pot and drain on out. I 
I've already got started placing one of my branches. The Well, actually, this is a white tree that was on the front porch for years, but I'm switching that around, so I wanna reuse what I already have. I absolutely love these trees. It's seven feet tall, and I'm placing them in the new potters. Adding some sand so it balances the weight. When the wind gets heavy or the weather changes, the sand will allow the pot not to tumble over. This one is my largest tree, and this is an eight foot tall white tree. And it's actually real branches that I've spray painted white. When this is all said and done, you guys will get a chance to see what that looks like. It is just a gorgeous look. It makes it fresh, contemporary, and I absolutely love it. Since I'm working with an eight foot tall tree, I needed to get a super tall ladder. I'm going to place the twinkle lights on the tree. You guys know how I love lighting up a space and at night it just comes alive and it's just so relaxing and inviting. I am placing these on each individual branch. This boxwood is just another item that I purchased and I love it. It gives me privacy from my neighbors and it just finishes off the space very, very well. And right now I am placing more twinkle lights around the boxwood. Probably should have added even more, but I didn't. I said, I'm not gonna go crazy with the lights. So I just added a few. Now that my sofa has been painted, I'm struggling here a little bit, but I'm gonna place it and sit it in the area. Why did I change colors? I don't know. I'm just in this white phase right now and I wanted everything light, bright, and white. Since it's a rattan, I'm pretty sure that I can repaint it another color should I desire to do so. Adding this outdoor indoor rug for texture and color. Currently, you guys are looking at some of my branches that I've had for years. I'm just reusing and repurposing. I will be placing these branches inside of a new pot that I purchased and spray painted it white. This is the pot, but it's not a deep pot, so I need it to create something that I can actually attach the branches to, and that's why I will be installing this two by two piece of wood through the hole in the bottom of the pot, and then I'll be able to attach the branches to the pole. Can't 
change that Talk to me, babe, fight for me, babe Need you to hear me Never have I felt this way So sweet, but you're dynamite. I just want to dance with you. Feeling that burn. Fun time. All the hard work is done. It's just time to make everything gorgeous. And I am adding these yellow stem florals because I'm all into yellow for this outdoor season. And it's just bright, it's sunny, it's fun for me. So I will be making several of these arrangements. The first one will go inside of a large wicker basket that I purchased from, uh, what is the name of the store? You guys have seen me do this before change the cushion color by adding slip cover pillow covers it just changes everything all out I will go to a local upholstery place and ask if they would make these for me with fabric it's a cotton fabric machine washable I actually just took these out of the uh, dryer so that's the reason why they're a little wrinkly but since it's outdoors the sun will take away and melt all the wrinkles away here in Southern California Installing a couple of other decorative pots. You see the round pot on top of the pie laster that I just completed adding that post to. And now I'm installing natural branches. Now these are beech wood. I'm gonna keep the ones below in the natural beech wood color, which I love. Giving that contrast between the white painted branches and the natural beech wood color. That beech wood color ties in very well with the outdoor jute rug that I've placed down below. So all of these colors are gonna tie in. I'm just adding some additional color floral in the opposite pots, the large trees, because they're just white, just to fill it up a little bit since they're a little sparse. Now the stems are artificial, so they'll last with this color for at least a couple of years. I always like to create my outdoor spaces to appear indoors. So I'm going to add some wall art, outdoor lamps, accessories, and just really make it feel outdoors. Now this lamp, the uh, heat lamp that you guys see is in the corner. I couldn't get rid of it. Uh, it is a little unsightly, but it does a great job when it's time to sit out at night when it's not summer because I plan on using this space year round. Enjoy the remainder of the video. Let me know your thoughts on what you guys are doing this year for your special space. Are you creating or decorating your balcony, your patio? How are you enjoying your summer? Until next time, make every day a great day.
That is what my heart says. That's what my heart says. I wanna be with you always. You are my world in every place. It's the things I you do. And it's the smile on your face.
If you like this video, guys, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and that way you'll get notified each time a new upload comes up. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all of those that are following, and make every day a great day.